Welcome to the Auckland Park campus of the University of Johannesburg. We're here to find out what it's like to study here and also to check out what makes UJ so unique. In 2005, Rand Afrikaans University, the Technikonvit Vatusrand and two Vista universities were all joined to make the University of Johannesburg. It seems to me that what we want to do is create a new university where we identify what is the new South Africa. This is one of the top three varsities in South Africa. It's an enormous campus where nearly 50,000 students from all walks of life pursue their studies. The number of choices here is mind-boggling. There are nine different faculties, each offering a mix of degree and vocational programs. There's also a separate department for hospitality and tourism. To be accepted into any course, you need to meet the required APS. That's admission point score. For every subject you pass in matric, you get points. And the better your marks, the higher your points. 80% for a subject gets you a nice 7. All of your subjects are added up to see if you qualify for entrance. Put it all together and you can see which courses you can take. An awesome thing about UJ is that they automatically give bursaries to new students who score well on their metric exams. If your APS is 39, you get 30% off your fees without even having to ask. That's roughly a 70% average for your metric results. And if you're a total brain and get straight A's, then you could find yourself studying for free and getting a few thousand rand in your pocket. It's really important to match students to the right courses, which is why UJ offers career assessments to help grade 11s and 12s with their study and career decisions. And get this, they also have programs that introduce UJ graduates to companies that need the skills you've been trying so hard to learn. Whatever the field you're going into, you need resources. Wow, that's a lot of books. The Library and Information Center is not just about books though. Internet access, periodicals, electronic databases, and even a web page. Plus staff to tell you how to use all this stuff. These are the tools that you need to learn in the 21st century. But campus life is not only about the lectures you go to. One of the best things about choosing a well-established university like UJ is all kinds of things you can do while you're not studying. They've got a superb arts program with all kinds of drama, arts and dance. The three or four years that you spend at Varsity are not just about the work you put in. It's also about meeting like-minded people and making friendships and connections that could last a lifetime. We have white, black, colored Indian students here, and national and international students. And the idea is we're trying to create a citizen of our country and a citizen of the world. We want our students to know more than physics and mathematics and uh, accountancy. We want them to know how to interact with each other, how to live as tolerant beings in a globalized world. That for us is what is much more important. And what do you like about UJ? The people. <laughs> I love the people, I love the energy and the style, the people, the vibe. The friendly people and the interaction between people, we love it. And there's no racial issues. I love that. Living in res is ultra convenient. You don't have to travel to class, you can sleep until just before a lecture, and everything you need is close by, from laundry to shops, banks, and even doctors. What's the best thing about living in race? Well, living in race is like one of the most appropriate things I think when you come to university because it's a whole new change and it's hard adapting. But when you come to race you find people who are here for what you are here for. Hence you can help one another adapt. And I chose UJ because it's the most diverse campus in the country, I think. But there are never enough rooms. So if you want to live on campus, make sure you get those forms in with your first application. I can see how it could be intimidating the first time you walk into a campus this big. It really tells you that, hey dude, you're just a little fish in a very, very big pond. But then you start talking to people and checking things out and yeah, this is one of the friendliest places I've ever been. If you think you're heading for the Varsity route, then make sure you choose an awesome place like this. All of these things are to mold a citizen of the 21st century, you can do art, you can do uh, sport, you're good at academics, 
you learn a program that is contemporary with what you what you're being taught around the world and that for us is what UJ is about so it's more than simply a strong set of technical skills in a particular discipline it's about creating the citizen of the 21st century